Pictory AI is the best text-to-video platform. This means you can paste in a script and have a full video generated by using AI technology within just a few minutes and just a few clicks. Here's how that works. You simply paste in the script in the script editor, you click proceed, you then choose a template, Pictory AI is going to generate the storyboard. Within just one minute, your full video will now be done. You can then choose to add a voiceover, background music, change the text, change the clips, and you're done. Your full YouTube video is now completed. That's the short version, but in this full Pictory AI course, I'm going to show you step by step how you can use the entire software to make the best videos possible. With that being said, here's what I'm going to show you in today's video. I'll leave timestamps in the description down below as well. First of all, I'm going to walk you through every feature on Pic3 AI so that you understand how it works and what you can potentially do with this. Then I'm going to show you an amazing strategy to create the best possible script for Pic3 AI specifically. I'll then show you how you can actually turn the script into the video. Then I'll show you how you can change the clips if you want to, change the text, change the layout, or anything you might want to change. I'll then show you how you can add a voiceover within the Pictory software or your own voiceover in case you want to. Then we'll finish up the video adding background music, adding a custom logo, and changing the style according to your brand colors. And last but not least, I'll show you all the other features inside Pictory, such as the article to video, editing videos using text, and visuals to video features. So if you follow along that entire process, at the end of this video, you'll be a Pictory AI professional. This video costs a lot of time to make, so please leave a like on the video that would help me out a lot and i appreciate it to get started we need to create an account in the description down below i'll leave a link that allows you to get a free trial in case you want to follow along the process after creating an account you will end up on the dashboard which looks like this you've got the scripted video feature you've got article to video edit videos using text and visuals to video I'm going to start off with script the video because that is the most important feature. In order to get that going, you want to click on proceed, which is then going to load up the script editor. Now in here, you can then load in your script. I've prepared this little script right here about Amsterdam. I'm going to paste this in and I can now generate my video. Later in the video, I'm going to show you how you can create a full script using ChatGPT. So stay tuned for that. But right now, I want to show you how this works. So. Right now, what you want to do and what you want to avoid to do mainly is make sure that your sentences are not too long in this script. So what I'm going to do is put an enter and a space between every part of my script. This makes sure that my subtitles are not going to be too long because Pic3 AI will automatically add subtitles to my video. And then just to showcase that to you, I will leave the last sentence way too long so that you can see what that results in. This one also needs to be shorter, just like that. Then what you want to do next, as soon as you've structured your script properly, is click on proceed. And then next up, you need to choose a template. Now, a lot of these templates are kind of fancy or they try to be fancy, but not that useful. So what I recommend doing is scrolling down and choosing the subtitle yellow or subtitles thin one. There are quite a few other templates on here, like this one, this one, this one, and basically every other one here, but most of them don't really fit well if you want to make professional style kind of YouTube videos. So what I recommend doing and what I'm going to do for this demo is choose subtitle yellow. So you want to choose a template that you like, then click this one right here. If you want to do YouTube, you can also do Instagram Reels or normal Instagram posts, for example. And then what is happening right now is that they're creating the storyboard. Now the storyboard, which you'll see in a minute, is basically the Pictory AI video editor. So they're currently busy, first of all, reading the script, then adding subtitles to the video, as well as choosing clips in the background so that your entire video is now done. So I welcome you to Pictory AI. This is what the layout looks like. This is where we'll be creating our video. What I'm going to do first is show you all the basics and show you the possibilities and how it works. And then after that, I'll create another full video for you step by step so that you can follow along the process after understanding how it works. So this is Pic3 AI. This is called the storyboard. Right here, you'll see your entire script that you just loaded in. So we've got scene number one, scene number two, three, four, and that goes on and on. Starting off with scene number one, I want to explain the basics. So on the left, you'll see your script. On the right, you'll see the video that is automatically generated. The way to generate this is that they read the script and then they put a clip in the background that matches what is being talked about at that specific part. So here I'm talking about Venice, so they'll put a clip of Venice in the background. However, sometimes they might be wrong because my video is about Amsterdam. What do you do? You simply go to visuals and then you type in whatever it is that you want to find a clip about. So if I want Amsterdam or more specific, the Amsterdam canals, I type in Amsterdam canals and all of the clips then show up. 
what I can then do is click on one of them, for example, this one, and it's going to be selected and automatically be put into the background of that specific scene. And that's how you can change your entire video. This makes it really fast to go through your entire video and edit everything. For example, this clip right there is horrible. So I go to visuals, I type in whatever I want to add. In this case, just clips of Amsterdam. I scroll down, I click on this one, and there we go. And that's how you can start building out your entire video, allowing you to get a video done at insane pace. Then next up, what you can do is, for example, if there's too much text, is split up the text, which you do by simply selecting the part where you wanna split this up, click split scene, and there we go. As you can see, I just split up the text. Once again, if I don't like that background clip, what I'll do, I'll type in Amsterdam cycling, and there we go, we'll find people cycling in Amsterdam. Now, the reason these clips are so great is because they've partnered up with Storyblocks. Storyblocks.com is a stock footage website that normally already costs $30 a month, which I'm actually paying for for my other faceless YouTube channels. But with Pic3 AI, it's embedded into the software, which is a huge pro because this allows you to get clips from basically anywhere and basically from anything. So the way you would go about this is you click on every scene, you change the clip and your entire video is then done. You can, of course, change the text, the font, the sizes, everything, but I'll show you how to do that later on in the video. What you can then do is make sure you add background music or use the built-in voiceover. Now, this is huge as well because all you need to do is simply click apply like I just did and my entire voiceover is now done as well as synced to the subtitles and the entire video, which means I am now ready to download my video and have an amazing full video done. And here's what that video might look like. Amsterdam. The capital city of the Netherlands is located in the Western Netherlands within the province of North Holland. I just generated that video within just five minutes. Isn't that amazing? What I'm going to do right now is show you from A to Z, step by step, how you can start building out an entire video. If you want to skip parts or find something back, once again, I'll leave timestamps in the description down below. Now that you get the basics of Pic3 AI, I want to make a video from start to finish. The video that I want to make in this full course is a similar one like this, the 10 cheapest countries in Europe, 2023. The reason I chose a video like this is because it fits the Pic3 AI style perfectly. As you can see, this video is about the 10 cheapest countries. It has 130,000 views on a small channel with just 1K subscribers, and it is indeed monetized, making this a perfect video to make with Pic3 AI. What I'm gonna do is click on proceed to load up the script editor, and now it's time to make our video. For that, we need a script. What do we need in order to get that script done? First of all, we need the 10 cheapest countries in Europe, and then we need information and things to do in each of these countries so that we can make an interesting script and generate an interesting video just like this one. Another reason why I chose to make a video like this is because I think we can make a very similar or even better video in terms of the quality than this video. So if this video is already getting 130,000 views and on this channel alone, you can see it isn't even monetized with just four videos, it's the most popular one, I think we can make a very similar and even better video like this one. So getting that started, we need a script. We've got multiple ways to do that so that we can load it into the script editor and have our full video generated. Option number one, we can write it ourselves. Option number two, we can hire a freelancer to do this for us. Or number three, we can use ChatGPT. I'm gonna use the latter. If you wanna skip the script creation part, skip to this part of the video, I still recommend you watch it because I'm gonna show you very in detail how to make a full script using ChatGPT that you can then paste into Pic3 AI and your full video will be done at a crazy high quality level. So the first thing I asked ChatGPT is what are the 10 cheapest countries in Europe? This gave us the list of the 10 cheapest countries. Then next up, I asked it to write an intro for my YouTube video about the 10 cheapest countries in Europe. And I asked it to include a funny fact about one of these countries. And this is where we're gonna pick it up from now. So this is the result that it generated. Now what I recommend you do is analyze this yourself. So it starts off by saying, welcome to my channel where we explore travel tips and blah, blah, blah. I wanna cut out all the fluff. So what I'm gonna do instead, instead of copying it from here, I'm gonna copy it where the storyline starts, which is right here. If you're dreaming of a European adventure, but don't wanna break the bank, you're in the right place. And that is exactly where I'm gonna start the script. This is a perfect introduction for our video. Copy. Now what I'm gonna do is paste it right here. Don't worry about the background color or the structure just yet. We're gonna adjust that later on into the video so that it fits for Pic3 AI. First, 
I want to build out my entire video. So we have the introduction. What I'm going to say now, here are the 10 cheapest countries, 10 cheapest countries in Europe that you must visit. Starting off with number 10, which was out of our list that we generated using ChatGPT, Hungary. So I'm going to say Hungary, and now we're going to let ChatGPT do the work. So what I'm going to say is I'm making a YouTube video. I'm making a YouTube video about the 10 cheapest countries. Can you give me more information about Hungary, including the best free things to do for tourists and the most beautiful places in Hungary? Include restaurants as well as good hotels to stay at. And there we go. Hit enter. As you can see, I gave it a very detailed prompt. So I asked it and told it that we're making a video about the 10 cheapest countries. And then if it can give me more information about number 10, which in this case is Hungary, I asked it to include the best free things to do for tourists, beautiful places, as well as restaurants to eat in and hotels to stay at. As you can see, it's then going to give us a very detailed answer. If you just say, can you give me information about Hungary? It's just going to go at random. Whereas right now it's going to give us a very structured, very detailed sum up all things to do in Hungary. And the best part is we can copy that prompt and use it for all of the countries up in our list. So I can copy it and change Hungary for Poland, Poland for Bulgaria and so forth and so on. So what I can do now is simply scroll down. It's still not done yet, which is pretty cool. And I can analyze the information. Of course, we can adjust it. We can copy it directly. That is up to you. So what I'm going to do right now, first of all, is analyze it. So I'm going to start off by reading this. As you can see, it says top three things to do in Hungary for tourists. And then the list goes on. So as you can see, it's currently very structured, but it's not in a storyline. So what I'm going to do is can you sum up this answer and change it to a storyline instead of a very structured answer. Let's see if it can do that. Hungary is a country located in Central Europe, famous for its stunning architecture, rich history, delicious cuisine, and blah, blah, blah. As you can see, for tourists visiting Hungary, the top three things to do include exploring Budapest, visiting, and as you can see right now, it's a story instead of a very detailed, structured one, two, three, do this, one, two, three, do this, do that. So this one is much better because we have to line up clips from pick three with the story that is being told. And the same goes for the YouTube channels here. They're not just going to say, number one, do this, this, and this. Number two, do this, this, and this. They're going to tell a story because people appreciate stories more. They'll keep watching. So what we can now do is pick it up from here. Hungary is a country located in, and then we can go down, copy all of this. And there we go. We can copy this, go to our script and then paste it. And then we'll say number nine, and then we're gonna go back to ChatGPT, scroll up, number nine was Poland. So what I'm gonna say is that that is Poland. And then what I can do next is go back to the prompt that I gave it here. I'm making a video about, I can copy this, I can paste it in here. And then instead of saying Hungary, I'm gonna say Poland. Then I'm gonna give it the same prompt, just like that, it's then gonna generate it. And then once again, I'll ask it to do it more in a storytelling way. Now you can also do that right away. I'll show you how to do that in the next prompt that I'm gonna give it for the eighth country. But you get the point. This is how we can start building out an entire video. Now, as you can see, what I like here, if you keep it within one chat in ChatGPT, right now, it already does this in a storytelling way. Whereas the first time, it did this, it now learned that I don't like that and I want it in a storyline. And right now in Poland, as you can see, is doing this once again like this, because it says, I'm sorry, in my previous response, I provided information about Hungary instead of Poland. Here's the correct information for Poland. Now, what I like here is that it did this based on the prompts that I gave it about Hungary, like I just said. So it still includes hotels, spas, things to do, all of that stuff within just one prompt. So I can now copy this, go back to our script, paste it, and there we go. Then I can go to number eight. Number eight on the list, and you can do this in multiple ways. You can say number eight on the list is, number seven on the list is blah, blah, blah. I'm just gonna say number eight on the list is, and then we're gonna go back up. I believe it was Bulgaria, and yes, it is Bulgaria. So we're gonna go to the script, type in Bulgaria, and then we're gonna change Poland for Bulgaria. And then hopefully, Bulgaria is a stunning country located in Southeast Europe, known for its scenic landscapes, rich history, and affordability. 
Fortura is visiting and you can see it generates the entire script right away. Now I'm not going to bore you by doing the same thing for number seven, six, five, four, all up until one. So what I'm going to do instead is just do this myself and then I'll get back to you once the entire thing is done. And there we go. My script is now fully done. I've made some adjustment. I kept it at five countries as well as changed the intro up a little bit. And then I also want to show you an alternative way of creating that script. So what you can do is go to current YouTube videos, click on the three dots right there, click on show transcript, click on these dots, toggle timestamps, and then you can take the entire script from an existing video and then rewrite it using ChatGPT. Now, do I recommend this one over the first method that I show you? I'm not sure. Is it easier? Yes. Does it create a quality video? Kind of. Is it better than creating it originally? I don't think so. But what you can do is say, please rewrite this script using the same structure. Then you simply paste the script, you hit enter. And then as you can see, it's then going to generate a brand new script for you, which you can then take and then that's your script. That's an alternative way. But anyway, right now I am done with my script. What I'm going to do is copy the entire script. And by the way, if you want to know how you can remove that gray background, I'll leave a link to a simple tutorial video about how to do that in the description down below. Copy, go to pick three, paste it. And there we go. We're ready. As you can see, the structure is now correct. It takes some time to do that, but it's going to pay off massively. It's going to save you a lot of time. Then you want to click on scene settings and make sure that it says create new scenes on and then line breaks because every single time there's a new line, it's going to create a new scene. Click on proceed and then choose a template. The one I'm going to choose for this video is going to be subtitle yellow. I don't recommend any of these weird other kind of templates, like I said in the intro as well. So we're going to go with subtitle yellow, 16 by nine aspect ratio, continue. And there we go. It's now going to generate our video. This might take a minute, a few minutes, depending on the length of your script. For mine, it should take about one of the two minutes. So I'll get back to you once that is done. And there we go. This is the video that it has now generated automatically by using the script that we put in. This is the default version, which ended up being close to seven minutes, as well as having over 76 scenes. What I'm going to do right now is show you how we can customize the scenes, change the text and basically customize the entire video so that it fits your needs. Starting off with the clips in the background. So the clips are automatically selected by your script. So as you can see, I'm talking about traveling to Europe and then it's going to put out a clip of the world map that is focused on Europe. Now, whether I like that clip or not, don't worry, I can change it, but I'm just trying to explain how these clips are selected. In the second scene, I talk about Paris and they're going to put up a clip of Paris in the Eiffel Tower. Scene number three, I'm talking about traveling on a budget. And then as you can see, are you saving money, which is a bad clip. So I'll show you how to change that. And that goes on and on. So all these scenes and the clips in the background are automatically chosen based on our script. But don't worry, you can change it. Here's how you do so. You simply want to select a scene and then go to visuals and then search for a clip that you want to replace it with. So what I'm going to do is search for Madrid as that an iconic city within Europe and then choose a clip that sums up Madrid quite nicely, as well as show you that this is indeed Europe that we're talking about. So this clip right there is actually pretty iconic. So I'm going to choose on this one and there we go. This can now be our intro clip. Then I'm going to go to scene number two and I'm going to do the same for scene number two. Now this one is not bad, but I bet it can be much better when we're talking about Paris. So I'm going to search for Paris in pick three AI, and then I'm going to choose a clip that fits up Paris quite nicely. This one obviously with the Eiffel tower at night is pretty good. I can keep scrolling and I'll probably find many more. This one is pretty cool as well. We've got the light going, so I'm going to choose this one. Then I'm going to go to scene number three and I'll do the same. Now here's what I recommend doing. Instead of choosing something specifically based on that exact moment, for example here, I can add a clip of a wallet or traveling on a budget or anything like that, but it's much better to stick to our actual main topic of the video, which in this case can be Europe. So for example, I can search for London and then choose an iconic clip of London, which this one with the Big Ben and the wheel is quite nice. I can add that in right now and there we go. So instead of choosing literal clips based on what is being said, I recommend sticking to your main topic as it's going to get a more classy vibe to the video. So this is how you would go about changing all of the scenes, which I'm actually going to do in a bit. But before that, I do want to show you how you can change the duration of a scene. So this one, as of right now, is five seconds, which you can see right here. If I want to adjust that, I can simply click right here 
and make it 10 seconds, for example, or maybe a little bit less, I can make it four seconds. Now, what you wanna keep in mind is that there's a voiceover gonna be added later on as well. So if you use this for just two seconds, it's gonna have a hard time doing the entire voiceover on that specific part of the script. So make sure that you usually stick to the default. If you wanna make custom adjustments, you can do so. But I always stick to the default myself as I let Pick3 decide how long the scene should go on for. Reason for that, and you'll see this one is probably gonna be longer, is because of the text. So if someone needs to read this, obviously it's gonna be hard to do this within just two seconds. They estimate it, it's gonna take about 6.5, so simply keep it at that. But do know that if you wanna change it, you can indeed do so by clicking on scene duration. You can even apply it to all scenes. So if you want every scene to be 6.5 seconds, click right there, and then you can do so. What is cool as well is that if you are a content creator yourself, or you wanna upload any clips that you have on your PC, you can also do that. For that, go to visuals, go to my uploads, and then click right here to upload any video or picture from your local computer. This also means that you can go to Google and then download any clip from Paris, for example, and then take these clips or images and then import them to Pic3 AI, which is pretty cool. For that, simply click on the picture, save image or video, of course, go to Pic3, click right there, upload that picture, click save, and there we go. We're now gonna upload this into the Pic3 software. When that's done, we can put it in the background just like this, you then wanna click on it. And there we go, that looks stunning if you ask me. I'm then gonna to go to settings and then click on visual zoom and pan to make a nice effect, as well as hide the text so that the picture shows up perfectly. So that is how you can change all of the visuals, which I'm actually gonna do for the entire video. But before that, I do wanna show you how you can change the text, as this is really important as well. So by default, this is what it looks like. Now remember I said your sentences shouldn't be too long. Here's why. People are used to reading on TV shows, Netflix movies, YouTube videos in two lines. And that's why you don't wanna make your text too long. So instead, I recommend sticking just two lines of text. Now sometimes that means you have to adjust it to 24. And if you wanna do that for your entire video, you can simply click on apply to all, or you can manually customize it one by one. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna to stick to 24 or maybe 26 if that fits. There we go, and I'm gonna click on apply to all. This now means that my text throughout the entire video is set to size 26. And I can do the same for the placement. I can put it in the left top corner, the right top corner, but I recommend sticking to the bottom center as once again, that is what people are used to. I can then change the font as well. So it is set to quicksand by default, but for example, if I want a cooler one, this one, which is pretty cool, or for example, I wanna go with this one, I can do that, and then you can once again click on apply to all if you want that throughout your entire video. So since this is a travel video, I'm gonna to stick to an easy to read one so that people can take in the information, which is gonna be this one right here. I'm gonna click apply to all, and there we go. Then what I'm gonna do as well is make it bold so that it stands out much more. This looks pretty cool. And then do know that you can change everything as well. You can change the background color, you can add shadow colors, you can change the text width. So as you can see, you can make it much bigger and wider. And that just depends on what you want to use it for. So I'm gonna basically stick to about 60% just like that, that looks pretty nice. But you can change all of it using this editor tool right here. You can also add animations on the entry as well as the exit of the text. So you can do a fade in and then you can choose the speed. I recommend setting this to the default as it's pretty nice to read along the script. Once done, make sure you click apply to all if you wanna apply this to all scenes so that you don't have to do this manually over and over again. Now that we've made sure that our text up on the screen is good, I wanna show you other elements, such as stickers, GIFs, and emojis. Now, honestly, depending on the style of video you wanna create, this is either gonna become very useful or not useful at all. For example, a travel video that I wanna make look professional is not gonna benefit by any of these stickers, but do know that you do have the option to add them. In order to do so, simply click on the sticker that you'd like to add. There you go, you can swipe it in, and then you can make it bigger, just like this as well. And then once you've put that in, you can duplicate it, you can copy this to all scenes, 
or delete it. I'm gonna delete this since this doesn't add to my video, but do know that you can add GIFs, emojis, or anything else in case you want to. Then before I show you how we can change the background music as well as add a voiceover or even a custom voiceover, I'm gonna build out my entire video. If you don't wanna see me build out the entire video and see which kind of clips I choose and what for, skip to this part of the video where I show you how we can get going by adding audio and voiceovers to the video. So I already did scene number one, two, as well as scene number three, which currently looked like that. Let's pick it up from scene number four, which by default currently looks like this. Pretty dull, not good at all. So I'm gonna go to visuals. What I wanna do is type in Europe city. Then I wanna choose a classic clip that can sum up Europe quite nicely. And also make sure that it gets them excited for what's about to come. Because as you can see, this scene is about there being other options for your next European vacation. So this right there looks like a classic spot in Europe. This is Venice, which is indeed uh, more expensive, but still, it looks very scenic, beautiful clip for this part of the video. What I wanna do next is change the text a little bit. I'm gonna try and make this 28. That looks a bit better. You can of course also decide to hide it, and then it's gonna look like this, which is also pretty cool if I show you right now. There you go. I might actually keep it at this for this specific scene. Then we're going to go to scene number five, which currently looks like this. This is the default clip. So this is about finding places that are as affordable as Thailand. Now I have multiple angles here. I can go with a clip from Thailand. I can go with a clip that sums up the affordable part, or I can stick to the main theme, which is Europe. What I'm going to do here is go with Thailand so that I can get the contrast across. For that, I'm gonna search for Thailand, and then I wanna choose a more iconic clip. So we've got the islands that we can go from, we've got the temples, of course, but I want something in the streets. So what I'm gonna do is type Thailand streets, just like that. Be very specific with what you search for, as you'll get back exactly what you need. As you can see, now I've got the classic streets with all the motorbikes, as well as the street food. So what I'm gonna do is try and find a clip like this. Let's see if that kind of fits what I'm looking for. It kind of does, but it's not as good as it can be. I think it can be much better. I don't know exactly how you pronounce it. There you go. Khao San Road. This is very classic about Thailand. So I can choose this clip. We've got many tourists. We've got the little stores. We've got street food. This sums it up quite nicely. And it's a time lapse, which looks pretty cool in the video. That is perfect. What I'm going to do as well is change this to 28 maybe. There we go looks good. Let's go to the next scene, which is scene number six. While still being as picturesque as Spain, Greece, or Italy, what I'm going to do first is change the clip. I want to go with Greece, as I feel like there will be great and beautiful clips for Greece. I might just choose the first one. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, that's, that's beautiful. That directly tells you that this is Greece, which is perfect. What I'm gonna do once again is make this 28. So even after you set the default to 24, sometimes I still like to adjust it to make it look a little bit better and easier to read. Just like this, this as of right now looks perfect. I can change the text width to 50 maybe, just like that, and there we go. Yeah, that looks quite nice. Scene number seven, let's reveal the five most affordable countries in Europe, which currently has this clip by default. I don't like the way this looks. I'm actually going to remove the text for this one, and then I'm going to go to visuals, and once again, type in a European city, just like that, and then choose a classic clip, as that once again. For this one, I want to stick with the main theme of the video. Let me go with Amsterdam, actually. There we go. Perfect. Just like that. That looks quite nice. What you can do as well is insert text yourself. So what I can do now, as we're talking about the five cities, is type in five cheapest countries, my bad. Just like that. And then I can change the position of this, of course, and slide it into the middle. And there we go. Looks quite nice. Let's see if this still looks good with the clip, which is where I, which is why I'm gonna preview this. And there we go. Yeah, that looks quite cool which means we're now ready for scene number eight. Are you ready to travel for about 30 bucks a day? First of all, I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. I'm gonna set it 28, as well as change the width to 50. Perfect, then what I'm gonna do is go with the travel aspect for this one, as I wanna amplify the travel part. 
When you search for travel, obviously you can also search for airplane, you can search for airport or a specific location. What I'm gonna do instead is choose this clip right here. That looks pretty cool. Everyone knows what this is all about. You see the airplane wing, uh, the clouds, the sun. That's a nice clip. What I'm gonna do instead though, is make this a bit bigger. I wanna, yeah, to cover two lines perfectly. So this is great. Then we're gonna go to scene number nine. And this is where our actual script is gonna get started. So this part was just the introduction. We now have all the clips selected for that. We can now go to scene number nine, which is about Croatia. Now the current clip selected is horrible for our video. So what I'm gonna do, type in Croatia and choose a classic clip from Croatia, which this one looks like it might be perfect. We've got the Croatian coast, we've got some mountains and we've got these beautiful houses which look quite scenic. So this looks beautiful, great clip to use. Then we're gonna go to scene number 10 with its stunning medieval cities. Now this is really important. You don't wanna stick to the medieval cities part. You just wanna go to visuals and search for Croatia. I'm gonna search for Croatia city and then I will find clips that are more about the cities rather than the coastline part. Let's see if we can find something. This could be a great clip. We can also keep scrolling to see if we can find some better stock footage. This looks quite nice. But honestly, this looks very scenic already. So we're gonna stick to this one. Beautiful beaches and wonderful landscapes. So then I'm gonna search for Croatia beach, just like that, or Croatia landscapes. Let's see if we can find both in one clip. That'd be perfect. This one could be great. Let's test that one. Yeah, this looks good. We can also change it to an actual beach only, but I quite like this. We've got the beach as well as once again, the houses that you will see in scene number nine as well. So people know in fact, it's still Croatia. That looks great. Scene number 12, you can easily spend hours swimming and relaxing. Obviously it has selected a clip based on swimming, which is not nice. So we're gonna stick to Croatia beach and then use this one right here where we can actually see people swimming in Croatia. Isn't that great guys? Storyblocks.com, honestly, one of the best stock footage platforms. You can find pretty much anything. Don't forget to visit the breathtaking and then we've got a national park. And what I'm gonna do now is first of all, check whether that national park has clips on Storyblocks and it actually has. If it wouldn't have, I would simply go to Google, search for this myself and then take clips or images from here so that I can use actual resources in the video. You wanna avoid naming specific locations and then not showing the clips or pictures from that specific location. That's gonna make for a bad video. So right here, I assume that this is actually that national park. So because of that, what I'm gonna do is simply add these clips right here. And if I don't like the clips, honestly, this one is not perfect. It's not exactly what I'm looking for. I might still go to Google, go to images, and then look right here. For example, this looks much cooler, or this one looked quite nice. So I'm gonna take this, then I'll do a custom upload. So sometimes you wanna do that as well, just to make sure that the footage that you're using is actually good as well as accurate. Then make sure you choose visual zoom and pan so that it fits the entire image. Now this is a great example of what I just said. So we're talking about waterfalls, but this is just a clip of a random waterfall. So instead, what you wanna do is make sure you find an actual clip of that waterfall, which you could potentially do on YouTube as well. If I search for it and then type in waterfalls, just like that, we get to see these clips right here. So this one, 1.5K views, waterfalls of the national park. What you could potentially do is download this video and then use that in your video. Make sure to give credit in the description down below and name the source in your video. That way you'll be safe. What I'm gonna do for now is take this picture, which sums it up perfectly as well. I'm then gonna go to visuals and upload this picture. And there we go. Then it's gonna talk about the city of Dubrovnik. Now this, I guess, is automatically selected and this is probably very accurate, but what I'll do just to make sure is search for it, Dubrovnik, Croatia, just like that and see if the clip actually matches up. Seems like it, which is pretty cool. I can check if I can find better clips. For example, this one, there's a little bit more action going on because there are people walking, which might be a better fitting clip. There we go, I can keep scouting for more, but it seems like this is actually pretty good. Make sure that the vibe comes across perfectly because you see all the people chilling, walking, you've got the countryside, you've got the city, looks awesome. And then once again, scene number 16 is a classic example, something you should not do. We're talking about it being quite pricey and then you're gonna put a clip like that. Simply go back to visuals and choose a clip from Dubrovnik, much, much better. This one right there is pretty cool.
And now we're gonna talk about Split. Now Split obviously is one of the biggest cities in Croatia. It's beautiful. Make sure that you type in Split Croatia to get the right footage. And there we go. I've just selected this clip right here. See number 18, this is automatically selected, which is a pretty cool clip. However, it doesn't really sum it up quite nicely. So I'll go with this clip instead. Reason for that is you can still see the water since it's talking about that as well. I've chosen to hide the text on this one just to switch it up and make it a nice clip. I've done the same for scene 19 as well as scene number 20, 21 as well as 22. For all of these I've selected basic clips about split since there's nothing exact to be talking about and I want the clips to be about the main topic which at this moment is split. That's our first 22 scenes done. The first one Croatia is now done. Let's move on to country number two. Lithuania. Now by default this scene is put in, however I don't like this, I simply want to get going with this one. With a population of only 2.8 million, Lithuania is one of the. So I'm going to delete this right here, click delete, and there you go. With a population of only 2.8 million, and they pull this clip. That's not nice, so what I'm going to do instead is simply get going with Lithuania, and then I can choose people. Because the people aspect is quite nice, however I don't know if this is in Lithuania. It doesn't seem like it judging by the street sign right there. So instead what we'll do is simply choose a clip right here of Lithuania, which will actually go here, right there. And then we can choose this clip right there, which sums it up quite nicely. And this is what that then looks like. Then we've got scene 24. I once again stick to the main Lithuania part instead of focusing on it being a small nation within Europe. Instead of choosing something with the flag, I want a more scenic vibe. This video right there seems like it can get that done for me and that looks beautiful. You have to keep in mind, in order to get the viewer engaged and keep them engaged, you want to choose beautiful videos because that is what people like to look at. So now we're talking about Vilnius, which is the main tourist attraction and the capital city. So for that, I'm going to change the text. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, just like that. That looks good. And then I'm going to search for that specific town, which we do like this, Vilnius, there we go. And then choose one of the clips. This one right there seems beautiful. However, some of the text isn't he blocking that building. So what I'm going to do instead is change the width to 80. And there we go. Now it's not blocking it anymore. Scene number 26, we're talking about the Neris River. So what I'm going to do is simply search for that, Neris River. Now I actually just changed the clip. However, I realized that this one is not better than the previous one. So I'm going to click on undo right here. And we're going to stick with the one that I automatically selected, which is this one right there. We've got the beautiful sunset as well as those buildings that we're talking about as well as the river. So this one is much better. Then we're talking about food in Lithuania. I have two options. I can go with any of these kind of clips, which is based on farming, or I can simply choose to stick within the main theme, which is Lithuania. So I actually do that right there. Since I'm not sure if this clip is indeed in Lithuania, I can check whether they're talking about farming right here which they're not really doing. And because of that, I'm not going to choose this clip. So instead, I'm looking for a scenic video, which could be this one, and we'll stick with this. Next up, we're talking about a full meal with drinks. Now, I can stick with Lithuania, but the thing is, right here, this looks more like French stuff, as I believe this is wine and some cheese. So instead, we'll choose this one right here. Yeah, this looks much better. Scene number 29, we're talking about accommodations. So I got the visuals. I'll simply search for Lithuania hotels. And there we go, we find this clip right here. Do keep in mind though that this probably doesn't cost 10 euros per night. So if you want to choose something more accurate, choose a less quality hotel. So we've ended up at scene number 31. By now, I do think you get my thought process and why I choose certain clips and why I don't. So what I'm going to do right now is privately choose all of the clips and then you'll see the end result for all of these clips at the end of this video. But this video wouldn't be a great YouTube video if we wouldn't add a voiceover. So for that, I now want to show you how you can add a voiceover to your video. It's actually pretty simple. So you've got the audio tab right here on the left. First of all, what you'll see is that there's a lot of background music involved. Automatically, by default, they'll already add one background music to your video. I wouldn't recommend you use that one. Choose one that actually fits your video. In order to get rid of this, simply click right here on the cross and there you go. There's now no background music on your video. Now what they've done great is that you can choose by mood, by purpose, by genre, the duration, and all of these filters right here. If you want to clear them, click clear all, and you can start from zero again. What you can then do is find a song that fits your video. So we can just test a few right now. That doesn't really fit. 
Maybe that could be a good one. Let's say this is a good one. You then click on apply right there and the background song is now automatically applied. You want to go to volume and then set this at around five or six percent roughly in that range so that the background music is not too loud and the voiceover volume needs to be at 100. However, we've not applied one yet. Now when it comes to the voiceover, you've got multiple options. You can either choose the voiceover that's built in in Pictory, which they have quite a few. If I scroll down, you'll see all of these. I'll reveal the one that I always use in a bit. You can also upload your own. So what you can do is do the voiceover yourself, hire someone on a freelancer platform or use another TDS software. For example, one that I use a few times is Merv.ai. So Merv.ai is another tool, if I just sign in real quick and go to the studio, that you can use to generate a voiceover. Now, this is an actual voiceover tool that is focused on text to voice, meaning this is actually pretty decent. So if I click right here, you'll see that they've got tons and tons of voices as well. For example, you've got Terrell, which sounds like this. It only takes one voice at the right pitch to start an avalanche. Or for example, Rachel. Voice recordings can be tough. I remember the time I was waiting for weeks. And there are many, many good ones on here. If you scroll down, the list goes on and on. So this is actually pretty decent. I've actually made a full platform tutorial about this as well. I'll leave a link to that in the description down below in case you want to check that out. But do know you've got a lot of options when it comes to adding the voiceover on Pick3. What I'll do at the end of this video, I'll show you one result by the voiceover that I'm going to use right here, which is Ayanda, which is a female voiceover, which in my opinion kind of has this like BBC documentary vibe, making it perfect for a travel video. And then I'll also do one myself to show you what it can sound like if you do it yourself or you, for example, hire a freelancer to do so. But what is great is that once you click apply on the voiceover, this is now done. You don't need to go and sync everything or try and see if it matches up because Pic3 AI does this automatically for you. So we have all of these scenes right here with text and subtitles, but simply clicking one button, which is apply, it is now in sync and perfect and your entire video has audio, which is perfect. So right now we can go to the volume and you'll see that we can set this at 100. By default, it's set to 50, so that is pretty good. Otherwise, it wouldn't set that as a default, but do know that you can play around with this. For example, 60 or 62 and 6 is a good combination in terms of background music and voiceover volume. But you can always play around with this, so do know that that is indeed a possibility. So right now, I've added background music, I've added a voiceover by using Pic3 AI. Does that mean we're now ready to download our video? Well, not yet. So what you can do as the final touch is change up the style. So for example, you've got templates, you've got my style, which you can then create after you've done this once, and you've got styles library. So in here, you can play around and you can find many different styles in terms of text, as well as color palettes. So for example, template styles, I can go right here, click outro, and then there you go. You can add stuff like this. You can see this is the default one, but do know that there are many other ones around as well as a library which you can choose from, which is pretty cool. Now, if you want to add one yourself, you can duplicate it and then you can also change the template by going here. You go to the library and as you can see, you can choose one and it automatically changes it to that one. So if you've chosen one before you were generating your video, you don't like it, you can actually change the template while keeping the same clips that you've already edited. So do know that you do not need to start all over if you want to change a template. Then we've got branding. So with branding, you can add intro scenes. So for example, if you got an intro for your YouTube video, you can then click right there. You can enable this and you can upload it. So before your video starts, you've got your intro. Now do I recommend that for watch time purposes on YouTube? Not really, but do know that you can do it. And then you can also do your intro, scene, and outro. So in terms of intro, you can import a logo, you can customize this, you can add a text. So you can kind of make one in here. As you can see, if I now upload my logo and I put in my text, this is gonna be the intro. It's not really great, but it's not really necessary anyway. And you can do the same for the outro. So this is just a little feature that you can use. I like that they've added it. For my YouTube video right here, it's not really useful. And then we're almost done because we ended up at format. Now format is the size that you want to render the video at. So we've got 16 by 9, 19 by 16, which is basically TikTok format, as well as a square, which is for Instagram, for example. Now with this, you can swipe and then you can change the placement of the scene. For example, if I want it to be like this, I can do so. If I want to keep the middle or the right part, I can slide it to that specific part of the scene, which is pretty cool. But if you're here for YouTube, you want to click 16 by 9 
you want to optimize it, click 1080p, which you can have if you have the premium plan. In case you want to use this, I've got a discount code, which is creator20, that allows you to get 20% off at any Pictory AI plan. I'll leave a link for that in the description down below. But basically, we've now created our full video. Our entire video is done, which is fantastic. What I can now do is first of all preview the video. So if I'm not sure whether I like it, I can click on preview. This might take a minute depending on your video length, but it's basically going to prepare your video so that you can check on any mistakes that you made, which you can then change before you render the video. So let this load and then I'll show you what the preview looks like and then I'll show you where you can download your video in the best quality possible. And here we go, we now have our preview done. I'll quickly play it so that you can get an idea. Destinations like London or Paris. However, if you have a tight travel budget. And there you go. So let's say that I like my video, which I do. I can now go back, click on download and then download my video. Before I do that, I can see my video duration in the top right corner. So my video is going to end up being about five minutes. I'll click download. I'll click video right here. And here we go. It's now preparing our video for download. So as soon as this is done, I'm then done as well and my video is completed. So here's the first minute of my video by using the Pictory AI voice. After this, I'll share one with my own voice. Traveling to Europe can be quite costly, especially when it comes to visiting popular destinations like London or Paris. However, if you have a tight travel budget, there are other options for your next European vacation. We found some places that are as affordable as Thailand while still being as picturesque as Spain, Greece, or Italy. Let's reveal the five most affordable countries in Europe. Are you ready to travel for about $30 a day? Croatia is a dream destination for many people. With its stunning medieval cities, beautiful beaches and wonderful landscapes, you can easily spend hours swimming and relaxing. Don't forget to visit the breathtaking Plitvice Lakes National Park, which is home to 16 interconnected lakes and numerous waterfalls. You can also explore the ancient city of Dubrovnik. Traveling to Europe can be quite costly, especially when it comes to visiting popular destinations like London or Paris. However, if you have a tight travel budget, there are other options for your next European vacation. We found the best places that are as affordable as Thailand while still being as picturesque as Spain, Greece or Italy. And those are the results. Now if you want to watch the full video that is generated, I'll leave a link in the description down below to the YouTube video where I've uploaded it in full. Now it is time to check out the article to video feature, which you can find right here on your dashboard. Now if you want to, for example, convert this blog or any other blog on the internet into a video, what you need to do is simply copy this. Then you go over to Pictory AI and you paste in the link right there. You then click on proceed and then what it's going to do is extract the key messages in the article. I've already done that before and this is what it's going to generate. So on the left hand side, you'll see the entire script. This is basically the entire blog. And then on the right hand side, you'll find the AI powered summary. So it doesn't take the full blog, it takes a summary so that you can convert that into a video. Now let's say that I want to include this part as well and Pictory didn't automatically choose that. Can you still do that? Yes, of course. All you need to do is simply click, you're then going to highlight it. And then as you can see, that just became scene number two. If I want this to be scene number three, I click here, as you can see, it will then be added right in. So this is basically how you can do that. And then you can also change the order just like that. For example, since we moved to Europe, blah, 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 this then comes in here, but this should be there, for example, you can change the order. So what you can do is go through the blog and then choose which part you want to highlight to add into the summary so that you can include it in your video. So this is now a process that you can do step by step, word by word, sentence by sentence. And then as soon as you're done with that, you can click on next. And from here on, it will be a pretty similar process. So you've got all of the templates as usual. Let's go with subtitle yellow. And you're then going to create the storyboard. And then from here on, it's going to be the exact same process as the scripted video, which I just explained in full for you. And here we go. This is what that video currently looks like. The 35 best cities to visit in Europe. And as you can see, we've got the entire part done for you. And what you'll notice with blogs is that sometimes there's a lot of text. So once again, what you can do is simply click on any part of that sentence and then split the scene. If you click split scene right there, you'll see that the text becomes much smaller. Then of course you can customize the size to make it two lines, which I always recommend you do. 
drag it down in the middle, and then you're done. Then it is time to look at edit videos using text. As usual, you want to click on proceed, and then you've got a few options. You can try this with demo video, you can insert a YouTube video link, or you can upload a custom file from your computer. Once you've done that, you can also choose the language that is being spoken in the video. For example, you can choose English with all the accents, such as US, Aussie, UK, list goes on. Or you can go with French, German, Spanish, um, Portuguese, Dutch, Japanese, you get the point. You've got most languages in there. Then once you're done with that, depending on whether you upload a file or a YouTube video link, it might take a minute to convert. I'm going to try a demo, so it's going to be quick. And then as you can see, this is what will happen. So on the right hand side, you'll then see your video. On the left hand side, you'll see the transcription of your video. So this right there is basically what is being said in your video is the script, which they've automatically transcribed by you uploading the file. What you can then do is, first of all, you can edit the script. So for example, if you want to remove one part here, you can select this, remove it, and then it will also be removed in the video. Now you can also do that automatically. For example, they've got the option to remove filler words such as um, um, that kind of stuff, which you can see right here, which it automatically highlights in red as well. So if I simply do that right here, you'll see that these words are now done, which makes it look much cleaner, especially if you say oh, a lot, your video is going to be better. You can then also remove silences. So if you click here, more than two second silence, for example, or free or whatever, you click OK. And there you go, you just remove the silence. So for example, for short form content, removing silences is very good, or even long form, because then the video just flows much smoother, rather than you having to cut out everything manually, you can just simply click on the button right there, which is pretty fantastic. Then next up, you've got the templates. So you've got the template library, which you can choose from right here. So this is kind of similar as to what we've already seen before. If I want the yellow subtitles, I click right there. If I want this one, I click right here. Simply click on the one that you'd like. I'll go with subtitle yellow once again. You can also choose to disable the subtitles, and you can also choose the maximum amount of lines. So for example, if you want five or whatever, you can do so. I recommend setting it at one or maybe two. I would say one for this one, and then you can play it. So you can always do a preview, which I'll do for you right now. And then as you can see, once you're playing that on the left hand side in the transcription part, you'll see where the video is currently at. So my video is currently at the five second mark, as well as if I play, uh, click play once again, you'll see that it shows you which word is being set at that moment. Take a look at the left hand side. Okay, so as you can see that works, but right there, we have just noticed a silence, as you can see. So if I do this right now, click OK. There you go, they have just removed that. So if I start this from the beginning again, I want you to notice that there's going to be no silence in the part where there was just a silence. You see? So the silent part is now gone, which is pretty fantastic. So this video is currently 3 minutes and 23 seconds, which you can see on that side. And the basic editing would now be done, right? We've just added subtitles, we've removed all the filler words, we've removed all the silences. What I can now do to make it even better is go to Customize Video, is then going to Prepare, and is then going to load up the storyboard once again. And this is basically where you're now back into the part that you already know, which is with the scenes. So we now have scene number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, etc. What you can now do is edit this as a normal script video, which we already just did. So for example, if I want to change this scene, I can type in anything, and there you go. I now find all of these clips, which I can then add. So if I want this clip to be the first one, you simply click on that, and there you go. So you now have the audio from the actual video, but you can change the clips. You can put clips over it which also allows you to simply upload a video that has the audio you want, but not the actual video, which you can then simply change by importing it and then just changing it scene by scene in terms of the clips. Now remember, because this is already a video that's been done, some of the scenes will be linked. So for example, scene number one and two are now linked. If you want to unlink them, you click right there. If you want to link them together for some reason, you click link scene. So if you want, for example, every clip to be the same, which I now roughly have because all of these are linked, uh, you can then add a clip and all of them will be the same and they will have subtitles. But that only works for 
a certain range of videos. For most of them, that doesn't really do the job. But then from here on, it's basically the simple process of video editing that you've already seen before um, on the video I made about countries to visit in Europe. So from now on, all the features are the same. It's only this part that is really different. You can also undo stuff by doing this, as you can see. So you can always get it back to your actual original script. And then right here as well, what you can do is download the text format, which is pretty good. You can search specific phrases, for example, billion dollars. I know that's being set in the script. And then as you can see, it's going to show up right here. You can then click and it will then go to that part of the video, which is pretty cool. Then all that's left is the auto highlight part. If you want to get a certain part of your script, but not everything, I can, for example, click right there on 50%. What it's now going to do is summarize my video and take the best part from this and turn it into a new video. So as you can see, it has now automatically highlighted the green parts of my script. And this is now the video. So on the right hand side, I don't get to see the entire video anymore. It's just the parts that are highlighted in green. I can also do that for 75%, for example, then it's going to generate a new video highlight. So if you want to download a video and then shrink it quite a bit, you can do so by using the auto highlight feature, which is pretty cool. To then download your video, you'd basically do the same thing. So you click right here, download, click 1080p, download. And then as you can see, it's now going to prepare as well as download my video. What is even cooler is that you can take any video from YouTube, you can copy the link, put it into Pic3, then it's going to transcribe the video as well as download it, and then you can create a summary of that video within just two clicks. So this is one of my videos right here, how to use Merv AI text-to-speech. If instead of my 15-minute video, I want to turn this into a 7.5-minute video, what I can now do is copy the link put it in here, which I'm currently doing, I can then click right there on auto highlight and then choose the percentage of the video that I want to have. So I can click on 50% and it's then going to turn my current video, which is found on YouTube into a eight minute video. Now, if that's not good, or if I want to change specific parts of that, I can even do that by simply highlighting it and adding it to the video. So it now says how to generate AI voiceovers with Merv AI in today's video, blah, blah, blah. So that's currently not that great. So what I can then do, for example, is remove specific parts, just like that remove from highlights, and there you go. How to generate AI voice. If you click on a new project, you can now choose whether you want to blah, blah, blah. If I also want to include this part, I can then highlight this. There you go. What you can then also do is go to highlights and then download specific scenes or unhighlight them. For example, if I want to do all of them, I can click download video clips, and then you would have each individual clip download it, which is pretty cool as well. It's not that useful, but depending on what you do, it might come in handy. But what I would do instead is go to transcription, choose, for example, 75% so that my video is still going to be over eight minutes. And there you go. My video is now 75%, meaning I can download the script for this part. I can download the video for this part. I can remove filler words, remove silences. I can basically do all the stuff that I just showed you with a current video that's already on YouTube. Now, this is my own video, which also means you can do other videos on YouTube. For example, I could take any of these videos right here, load it into Pic3 AI, set it to, for example, 50%, then put it into ChatGPT, tell it to rewrite it and add a little bit of text so that my video is going to be eight minutes. Then you already have everything built, which is the foundation. And then you can go to the customized highlights video, and then you can start adding scenes, which is pretty overpowered. Let's do that with this video right here. So I'm going to copy the link. I'm going to go to Pic3. I'm going to paste it in here. It's then going to proceed. Click one, it's simply going to extract it. And there you go. We now have the video right here. I can then go to auto highlight. I can do 75%, for example. And what you notice as well is that there's quite a lot of silences. So if I'm going to remove that, I'll simply click here. More than one second. Okay, perfect. Then I'll do 75%. It's now going to create the video highlights. And then what we'll do next is go to the editing feature and then we can change the clips. So I'm now going to click on customize highlights video. It's now going to add the subtitles and prepare it for the customization. It's now loading all of the scenes and building the storyboard. And here we go. What I can now do is automatically add my own subtitles from Pic3 AI to the currently existing video that, as you can see right here, doesn't have any subtitles. So I can add to it, which I can then do by going to branding and styles, actually. Then what I can do here is click this one or this one, whichever one you like. So I can go here, styles, library, caption yellow. 
I can do this one or this one, whatever one you like, right? I already went over this in the other video. We'll go with this one right here, for example. Then we'll go to visuals. We'll choose the scene. This one I don't like that much. It's talking about Europe. So I'll type in Europe. It's going to find clips. Let's choose one from the Eiffel Tower. And there we go. If you select the text, you can do the exact same video editing that I've already shown you in the previous part, which is pretty cool because you can now take videos from YouTube. You can make them even better, change the clips, auto highlight them so that you can create a summary. You can also extract that file, put that into ChatGPT. There's so many things that you could do with Pick3, you're not limited in any shape or form. So that's it when it comes to edit videos using text. Finally, we'll have visuals to video, which works like this. You can click on proceed, then you can choose clips that you'd like to import. So this is by using your own clips. You then click on upload. What it's now gonna do is gonna process your videos as soon as that is done, you can click on proceed in the top right corner, which there we go, just happened. Click proceed, then choose the template as you normally would. And then I'll show you how we can use this to create Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, or even TikTok videos. Click 19 by 16 or 9 by 16. Then right there is now going to create the storyboard like it normally would. You'll then end up at the normal video editor that you already know exists. What you can now do is start changing the scenes as well as adding text. So what I recommend is not using the text feature right here, but simply go to story, type it in the scene and it will then appear because this is going to make it easier later on to add the voiceover to it so that we can complete our faceless YouTube short or Instagram reel or TikTok video. So I'm going to say, Habibi come to Dubai. I'll then say with the stunning Burj Khalifa. And then as you can see, that text will indeed show up on the scenes. Now, right now you might be confused because I only have three scenes and I didn't load in any more clips. How do you fix that? Well, simply click on the plus icon right there, click blank, and then go to library and choose a clip. For example, Dubai Marina, which is one part of Dubai. I can then choose any of these clips, which this one right there seems pretty cool. Or maybe I'll go with this one, then click away, go to story. And then as you can see, scene number four has now been added. And then once again, you can type in anything you'd like to add. Now, of course, the alternative is doing script to video that I've showed you in the first part of the video. But if you want to load in your own clips and add the text manually, this is the way to go. Don't forget that you can change the scene duration as well as all of the other stuff that is available in this editor with this feature as well. So I'm right now going to change the scene duration to four seconds per scene. I'm going to click apply to all and there we go. I'm now going to go to audio, go to voiceover, and then I'm going to choose my voiceover right here. I'll then click preview just to show you what you can do with this. Habibi come to Dubai with the stunning Burj Khalifa. Dubai is a fantastic place for tourists. From there on, you'd go the normal way by adding text, styles, branding, and the format, after which you can download your video in the top right corner. All right, so that video took quite a while to make. Just a reminder, please leave a like on the video. I really appreciate that. As well, if you want to use Pick3 AI, I'll leave a link in the description down below, which allows you to get started with a free trial, as well as you can use the Creator20 code to get 20% off any Pick3 AI plan when you use that at the checkout. For now, I'll see you next time.